Hey, this is John Glennon from the Tennessean, and we are taking a look at the Titans linebacker spot as we move closer to training camp here. Um, three points uh, we'll talk about today on the linebackers. Uh, first point is this, they, they had a pretty good pass rush from the outside last year for the first, say, two-thirds of the season. Brian Arakpo, Derek Morgan, very good combination, pressured the quarterback well. The big problem for the Titans last year was that when Morgan was hurt about halfway to two-thirds of the way through the year, all of the attention from the offense focused on Arakpo and the pass rush really dropped off. So that was the big problem. Leads us to the second point. The new additions for the Titans, I think, will, will make a big difference there. They'll give them much more depth and talent. Top of the line is Kevin Dodd, the second round draft pick out of Clemson. Very productive final year for Clemson. Uh, good pass rusher. Had off-season foot surgery, so missed a good bit of the off-season, but they're counting on him to be a big part of that outside linebacker rotation. Two of the other guys that will uh, factor into that rotation, Aaron Wallace, another draft pick out of UCLA, and a draft pick last year from Louisville, DeAndrez Mount, returning from injury. Uh, he should be a, a, a force, I think, uh, pass rushing as well. So a lot more depth on the outside. Inside, you have the two mainstays, uh, Avery Williamson and Wesley Woodyard were good last year. Avery Williamson prime for a, a third straight outstanding season. But I think there's a, a kind of an under the radar uh, signing by the Titans that, that should prove a boost inside as well. And that's Nate Palmer, not actually really a signing so much. He was a waiver claim. This guy started for Green Bay 10 games last year, uh, totaled 80 tackles. So I think he's gonna be a good guy to have in that inside rotation as well. That is a look at the linebackers for the Tennessean. I'm John Glennon.